Welcome to Ngozi Technology YouTube channel, your go-to destination on matters academic research writing. I am Lucy Wanjiro, your research assistant. In this channel, we are dedicated to take you through a step-by-step -step basic guideline in writing a research paper from the topic to its conclusion. Whether you're pursuing a diploma, undergraduate, postgraduate diploma, master's or PhD degree, this channel is tailor-made for you. We are committed to equip you to become an authentic and skilled research writer. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and engage us in the comment section for questions and suggestions. Welcome on board. Today we are going to discuss about formulating the justification of the study. The justification of the study in a research paper provides a compelling rationale for undertaking the research. It aims to answer the question, why is the research necessary? This section is very crucial because it establishes relevance and importance of the research. It also justifies the use of time and resources into that research. So in this presentation, we're going to be discussing about key elements and the format for the justification of the study. Let's dive in. Begin by introducing the general research topic and give a brief overview of its significance. For example, you can say this research focuses on understanding the impact of artificial intelligence on workplace dynamics, a topic gaining increasing relevance in the era of automation and technological advancement. The second thing you identify in your justification is the research gap. You clearly state the problem or the gap in the existing literature that this study or your study aims to address. For example, you can say, despite the growing use of artificial intelligence in workplaces, there is a noticeable gap in understanding how these technologies influence employee collaboration and job satisfaction. The next thing that you're going to corroborate in your justification is the purpose of the study. You clearly state the purpose of the research, emphasizing its intended outcomes and contribution. For example, you can say this study aims to investigate the impact of AI integration on team dynamics and individual job satisfaction, providing insights for organizations seeking to navigate the evolving landscape of technology in the workplace. The next thing that you should incorporate in your justification is the research objectives. You clearly state the research questions or objectives and explain their importance. For example, you can say the primary research questions include assessing the impact of AI on team communication patterns and exploring how employees' perception of AI influence job satisfaction, addressing critical gaps in the current understanding. Okay, then the next thing is the literature review. Summarize key findings from the literature review that support the need for the current study. For example, you can say, previous research has primarily focused on efficiency gains of AI, but little attention has been given to its social and psychological impacts on employee necessitating a closer examination. Uh, there you have identified the, the literature, but you have also identified a gap that is a psychological impact of AI on employees. So you are identifying the need of, of looking at it closer. The next thing is the potential contribution of your research. Here you outline the potential contribution of the study to theory, to practice, policy, or future research. For example, you can say, this research is expected to contribute to both academic understanding and practical implication, providing organizations with insights to optimize AI integration and enhance workplace satisfaction. You see, you are telling us about the academic contributions. You're also telling us about the practical contributions of your study. Then, last but not least, you have to tell us about the relevance to the field. Relevance to the field of study. Here you discuss how the research is relevant within the broader field, addressing the current theories 
practices or debates. For example, you can say as organizations increasingly adopt AI, understanding its implication for workplace relationships is crucial for adapting management strategies and fostering a positive work environment. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's session. I hope you're going to incorporate these key ideas in your justification session to ensure that you convey the importance and the rationale of your study to the audience. Thank you for joining our academic journey today. If you have found this video useful, kindly don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. Give us a thumbs up, like and share. Until next time, happy researching. I am Lucy Wanjiro, your research assistant. Adios.